What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. All right, so today I, I wanna talk about afternoon trading. And honestly, this is probably going to be, this is probably gonna to need to be two webinars because there's a lot to go over. There's kind of like the, kind of what, like the general information about afternoon trading. And then like, I'll probably need to do another one on like specific afternoon trading strategies. But I, like, I think this one's important because like, a lot of people, like I'm sure, Tom, you get it too. A lot of people, like a common question is, dude, I can't trade the first hour. Is there any? Yeah, right. I like, did a video on that last week. Uh, how to trade, you know, uh, reversal time. It yeah. was on the video, but uh, this is might be, you know, more in depth. So it's good. Anyway, yeah, and so like, yeah, so there's just a lot to dissect here. Anyway, yeah, so the quote of the week is what the actual fuck, and that and that's kind of like like what's just going on in the world right now. I, I, I put these quotes on here so that I can remember what I was thinking when, when we go back and watch them. Like what, that, that's kind of the sentiment of what the actual fuck. Um, anyway, so we're going to go over the market sentiment first as usual. Then we're, we'll get into the key trades week. We'll go, we'll, we'll go over some of, the, some of the trades that I took, some of the trades that Tom took. And if we missed some stocks in between, just go ahead and let us know and we'll pull them up and kind of, we, you know, we can analyze the, the traders of the week, if you had a rough trade on it or a good trade on it, whatever. Just anyway, so where were we last week? Right, last week we were just starting like the parabolic of the the like the the long market had just kind of gained some steam, right? And we saw the continuation of that steam, right? And so like as the spy continued to charge, right, and go slightly parabolic, I expected a pullback, right? I I would expect the three hundred to be tested again. We actually got that today. That daily resistance at fifteen could be the catalyst for the retest of three hundred. What you know, kind of close. We, we went, we went higher than I thought, right? But roughly around there. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool that the market's respecting that a little bit. Um, small cap bullishness prevailed, right? And, and I was waiting for one more death to seal the deal. Until then, we are in beware territory for shorts, which I think we still are at. We're still, <laughs> what's up, James? We weren't just talking about you. Uh, James. Yeah, he's just going to show up for five minutes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we're seeing a continuation of that, that, that bullishness here. And we're still in the beware territory for shorts. But I think it's, uh, I think it's starting, to, starting to wane a little bit. And it's funny. Like, I, I think I, I wanted to include this here, right? This is a pattern that, we've, that we saw in the market, right? Like, and this was like two webinars ago when I was like, offerings have been surprisingly strong, holding surprisingly strong and holding and bouncing even. It all started with the Genus 3 offerings when that held and then NNDM continued the pattern where every time a stock offered, it was like buy the dip mode, right? Something to be, something to be on the lookout for until the madness end. Well, I actually got a great trade on DGLY keeping this in mind. Keeping this in mind that like we're in this kind of market, like there's a, there's a trend going when stocks are offering, the, like they're getting trapped short and, and just skyrocketing. And I kind of want to talk about that a little bit because... Uh, when off, like one, one key thing I like to look at, right, is when, when, when there's a stock offering, if it's not for a lot of money in relation to the market cap of the company, right, and I'll say that again, if it's not a big offering in relation to the market cap of the company, or, or also in consideration to the volume of the prior trading day, right, if it's a relatively small offering, I actually like I'll actually look for those, you know, I'll more, I'm more inclined to look at those for like a squeeze trade because a lot of people get caught up. Oh, it offered it offered. That means it's done. If it's a little offering, that's not that dilutive right now, yep. the bigger the offer, like the, also the smaller, the offering, the more likely it is just like a relief raise, right? So it's a relief raise. It's a relief, like give us some cash. The bigger the offering, the more indicative it is of what the true price should be, right? So like 
if in, you know, if like there's a private placement with, uh, with a, you know, a company that's a private placement for like a hundred million dollars at $3, you know, $3 a share, dude, that stock's going to $3 a share because no investor is going to like put serious money in, right? That's an indication that $3 a share is the, the accurate market price, right? Like an investor is not going to overpay for, you know, for shares in, in like a private placement or like in a big offering. So like the, the, the larger the offering, the more important it is. The smaller the offering and the way and the, what I view as small is there, there's, you know, there's three measures. There's in general, like 5 million, not that, not that a whole bunch of a lot of money, but you also want to con- compare it to the market cap of the company. Like, you know, if it's like a $10 million market cap, eight, an $8 million raise is a lot. Now $8 million not might be a lot, but like an, I mean, to a $10 million market cap, they just doubled, like they just, they just raised their market cap in cash. So like that's, that's a, that's a sign of a big offering. So it's big in relation to the float or in relation to the market cap, but also big compared to the volume. Like a lot of times, like if it traded like a hundred million shares yesterday and it, and it does like a 2 million share offering, that's not that much. Like, or like a, a million share offering. That's not even that, like that's, that that's i mean you could have seen that in a in a candle yesterday they could have sold it at the market and you wouldn't even notice that right that's not a big offering so that's one thing to keep in mind and like and that's something that like i've done for year not just in this little little kind of like trend pattern that we're seeing of offerings just just ripping right that's that's kind of like a forever thing like if it's a small offering that could be a trap yeah and the small yeah, good point good point yeah you, you saw to- a few quite uh small offerings uh last week right or this week uh yeah it was like more like a dip to stock and then you know after that it just end up squeezing people yeah and so but and, and especially because <laughs> we're in that kind of there's there's a noticeable pattern right genus and nbm uh mrsn Chris did a little offering today. Uh, DGLY did a couple, right? We're in that kind of, we're in that trendy, trendy pattern. So afternoon trading. So afternoon trading can be like a super difficult time to trade because um, everyone's typically very weary. Like they're tired. Like they, you know, like the, you know, the classic Wolf of Wall Street. It's above the, it's above the shoulders, mustard shit, DDD, right? It's all that shit. You've been doing that all day. And it really gets to like, it gets to everybody if you just, if you just been screen watching. And that's why like taking a break, like it's always, you come after you come, you come back after taking a break, it's always easier to trade than if you've been watching all day. That, I find that the truth. But anyway, there are a few things you keep in mind. You should keep in mind when you're trading after. And the number one thing to keep in mind is that most traders are red, right? Most yep. traders are red from the morning, right? Afternoon trading, is it, it's not this like in your face, blah like emotion like bye 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 tells us like straight up just every candle is an emotional you know trade right that's the morning right and that's why we we like to take advantage of that in the morning because we can take advantage of that emotion but most traders are red in the afternoon and that means that most people trading in the afternoon are in the mindset just like you are when you're in the red meaning when you're in the red you can't tolerate losses i mean and that's you can't tolerate losing another inch of your money. And that, that's, that's how a lot of trading, like a lot of trading can be explained by that mindset when you start looking for it. After the trading isn't like blatantly emotional as the morning, but in the moments that matter, I'm like, like quoting that, in the moments that matter, I think they're actually more emotional than in the morning. Like just, be, it's deceivingly emotional, right? When you get that moment that matter, like that Isaiah spike on, on this chart, right? In the moments that matter, they're more emotional. They're really more emotional in those moments that matter. And most traders have either lost in the morning or they were green, but they pissed it away in the, in the mid-morning to, to midday kind of time, that, that 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock time. So, yeah, or that 11 to 1 time. Most people have either lost or they pissed it away, and that really gets traders frustrated. And so, you know, that you can see that there's desperate trades being taken in an attempt to make their money back. And this is what you can take advantage of if you are not in the same mindset that they're in. So, and because that's going to be your edge. So think about this, like the slowness of midday, when, when it's midday, it's all slow, it's all grinding. I mean, just look at Isaiah, right? Like, just look at how slow and painful this is, right? The yeah. slowness of midday, the grindiness, the algos, the level two manipulation, right? You're sitting there, like if you're like, whether you're in a position or not, whether you're red or not, whether you're waiting to take a trade or 
you have a big position, maybe you're down on it. You know, maybe on Isaiah, you're, you're fucking short here at 185, right? You just FOMO down here and like you sat through this, you painfully sat through this and now you're just waiting, waiting. And, you know, you're just looking at the level two, you're just in this mindset where you are staring there, staring at the tapes, watching the, the tip, tape go down and then up and then a bidder shows up and you're putting all of this emphasis and importance on random out al literally algos doing this to you on purpose right bid spoofing ask spoofing get getting you to and you're and they're doing it to you and you're doing it to yourself you're just literally staring there just trying to find meaning in in everything that does that is not a 50 cent tank in your direction you're trying to find meaning in everything that's not a direct tank or rip in your direction and you're just staring at it for hours your eyes are starting to bleed this is what puts you in this. This is why the moments that matter, it's pent up. It's this, it's more emotional than even in the morning. Alrighty. I will see you guys. See you guys in after hours and tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.